Hi, I'm Pete Thayer. Did you know that you can add a feature called Spectrogram that will let you see a picture of the bird's songs in version 7? <coughs> to add the Spectrogram feature to Thayer's Birds of North America, you need to download a program called Audacity. The sound section of version 7 will let you play a song and loop the song continuously. The spectrogram does not yet appear. It's easy to add the spectrogram feature. Just click Help and then click User's Guide. Now click on the welcome letter, scroll to the bottom of the page, and click on the words Click Here in the last paragraph. This will take you to the Audacity download page at SourceForge.net. Audacity has a download for both Windows and Mac. When you click Windows, it will take you to this page. After downloading and installing Audacity, you will see this icon on your desktop. There will also be a link appearing in the Sounds section of version 7. Now tell version 7 where to find the spectrogram. Just click Tools and then click Options. When you do this, the Option Selection box appears. Click the Spectrogram tab, then click the Search button. You need to locate the Audacity program. It should be located on your C drive under Program Files. Click the Audacity folder to expand it. Then double-click on audacity.exe. There, now version 7 knows where to find the Audacity program on your computer. You may also use a program called Raven Lite 1.0 as your spectrogram. Now when we open the field guide, we can see the sound section is giving us three options. Play, Loop, and Spectrogram. Audacity has its own user's manual. Read this to see all the things you can do with this spectrogram feature. The Electronic User's Guide in version 7 also has an entire article about spectrograms. To use a spectrogram in version 7, you need to download a program called Audacity or Raven Light. This is not mandatory, but we think it is a great feature.